Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Seduce Me. In the last episode, we were working on getting to that Andrew ending. And he's a great guy and I totally shipped them. And I hope that they have a nice, happy, sensible ending. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we left off with... Let me see, he picked her up from school. She made peace with Lisette, but I think it was because of Diana. And I think Diana's uh, messing with our lives again because the whole purple pencil thing. But yeah, we went to the office and uh, unfortunately I heard Father Dearest is there. So let's see how this is going to go. My blood ran cold at the voice. I'd know that voice anywhere. I turned to see my very angry father glaring at me and Andrew and blocking the doorway out. Andrew turned with the documents he needed in hand, almost dropping them at the sight of my dad. Mr. Anderson, I, uh... Lewis, why is my daughter with you? Well, sir, that is... I was just... Stop mumbling! I recognized those words and grew furious at the sound of them leaving his mouth. Why was he so mad? What was so wrong about me being with Andrew? What was his deal? Ah, uh, I really, really want to speak up because he's pissing me off. <laughs> enough was enough. Oh, sorry. I stepped forward, placing myself between my dad and Andrew. I came with Andrew after school. We were going to go out to a cafe together. What did I tell you about? When did you get to decide who I'm with? I don't live under your roof anymore. I live in Grandfather's house. I can take care of myself. I can choose who to be close to. I could practically feel red anger rise into my dad's face. But at this rate, I didn't care. He had been controlling for long enough. I don't have to listen to you anymore. I have my own life now. I can go to college, get a degree, and do what I want. I guess I have you to thank for making me work endlessly for good grades and scholarships. I felt my courage bubble in my gut. I was finally able to fully speak my mind. I wasn't in his house anymore. I was in my own woman. The moment you made me move out was the moment you gave up your right to decide what I do with my life. I want to go to college and travel. Then... Wait? Then I can go to college and travel? Oh, I get it. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I read this wrong? If I want to go to college and travel, then I can go to college and travel. If I want to give up my running for the CEO title, I can give up the running for the CEO title. If I want to meet with Andrew for cinnamon rolls, then I'm going to meet with Andrew for cinnamon rolls. My dad stepped back, staring wide-eyed at me. I felt like the slap he gave me was repaid tenfold just with my words. Hell yeah! I wasn't a child anymore. I wasn't his pawn anymore. I could do what I wanted to do. Come on, Andrew. Let's go. I began to walk toward my father, who stepped back and let me and Andrew pass without another word. Heck yeah! <laughs> As it should be. I continued walking, retracing Andrew's steps to find the exit of the building. As we reached the car, I let out a large chunk of air I was holding in before getting in. Andrew followed into the driver's seat and looked to me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm much better now. Let me just say, that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool like that. I smiled and gently nudged him. Come on, let's get some cinnamon rolls. Lily and Kay, who I still have not met. <laughs> Wait, who's Lily? Okay, whatever. Lily and Kay greeted us with happy smiles, giving us cinnamon rolls and coffee practically on the house. I was pretty convinced Kay thought this was a date and wanted to make the situation more romantic than it needed to be. Nevertheless, Andrew and I chatted about ourselves. Right after college prep, he interned for the Anderson Company and gained my grandfather's favor. His dad took advantage and got Andrew a job in the company part-time. However, 
Andrew only worked there to learn more from my grandfather versus actually trying to learn how to be a CEO. I was almost jealous. Soon, though, we had spent the entire afternoon together and it was getting dark and cloudy. Andrew drove me home, picking us up some paradise parlor for dinner. His treat. We stopped at the gates, where Andrew walked me up to the front door. Are you gonna kill me in? <laughs> I had a fun time. Thanks for coming out and having some coffee with me. It was my pleasure. Thank you for bringing me out. I smiled as Andrew nodded to me. Ooh, it's raining. Turning to head for his car, I stood there watching him leave when the rain started to fall. Andrew, unfortunately, was caught under the sudden rain and started racing to his car. As I turned to unlock my door, I heard him stop running. Wait! Uh, oh, is this going to be a notebook scene? <laughs> that would be a little much, though. I turned back to see him facing me through the rain. He was getting soaked, but he remained looking at me with an almost adoring look in his eyes. Oh, you guys are cute. What is it? Andrew quickly ran over, stopping as he reached the awning of the mansion and stared at me. He was totally drenched from the rain, but he didn't seem to care. Can I be stupid for a moment? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> yes. Um, I guess? Listen, you're probably the most interesting woman I've ever met. You're not afraid to be you, and that part of you makes you adorable. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Was he confessing to me? This was beyond surreal, but he continued. I know this is stupidly crazy, but I really like you, and I know we've only just met. But I really want to be your friend, and maybe more, but if you're not cool with that, that's okay. I mean, you're way out of my league and stuff, so I'll understand. Dude, you're out of my league. <laughs> He's freaking amazing. Holy crap, he was confessing. I stared wide-eyed at him as he confessed. What was I going to say? We had just met, but he was cute and funny. What was even weirder was that he reminded me of myself. He had an overbearing father, and the one person that cared was grandfather. Andrew didn't know his future, and neither did I. It was scary how similar we were. Maybe it was a sign. I could hear my grandfather's laughter replayed from a distant memory. Was this whole thing set up by him? No, I think it was uh, Diana. <laughs> was he setting this up now? Angel or not, I could only set my mind on what was happening now. Andrew had laid out his feelings for me, and I had to reply. The question was, what was I going to say? I'd like that. Why not? He was cute and funny, and we seemed to work well together. I smiled at him, and he smiled back with his goofy smile. Wait, really? Really? Great! Um, wow! Uh, I totally thought I was being stupid and was gonna get kicked in the shin or something. <laughs> I felt myself let out a laugh. Why would I kick you in the shin? I don't know. Stupid thought, huh? <laughs> Andrew and I laughed before I unlocked the door. Come on, let's get you dried up. The rain should pass soon, so you can stay over till it does. Oh no, I couldn't possibly. I insist. Andrew smiled gently and nodded before stepping into the house after me. Hey, um, didn't you have servants and stuff? Ah, he remembers. Huh? What do you mean? Huh? N never mind. <laughs> Must have been a party arrangement thing. Months went by since Andrew's confession. We were happy, and eventually my graduation came along. The rest of the story could almost be passed over. Alright, this is similar. Alright, this is new. Uh, Andrew, who later became my boyfriend, worked hard at the company, but often took time off to be with me. We ended up going out and learning about each other more and more as each day went by. As for his family, his mother was extremely happy that he finally got a girlfriend. Surprisingly, I was his first. Really? <laughs> this, to me, was shocking. His father wasn't too thrilled, but after I introduced myself and got to know his parents, his dad came to love me like a daughter. Aww. But what of my future? Yeah, what's going to happen? Well, with Andrew's support, I finally decided to step up for myself. 
A year after I had graduated, Andrew and I presented our cases and the board decided to have Andrew, but I thought he didn't want to be CEO. Uh, I congratulated him on the university. But, well, that's kind of sucks. I thought neither of them wanted it. Okay, he helped it grow. That's the same. Grandfather would have been proud. Hmm. Did I want to help him? Andrew reassured me that he would support me, help me. Happy and nothing could shake me. Alright, one morning, a good couple of years after Andrew and I started going out, I woke up and took in all that had happened. Oh. Is everything as you wanted, sweetie? Here we go. You gonna keep bothering me? <laughs> uh, this is gonna be the same, isn't it? There's no need to worry about who I am. I just... Yep, same. Oh, I'm leaving, alright. I just wanted to... Okay, you... Would you mind if I steal... Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Now, this is the last time you'll see me. I hope you and your sweet Andrew have a wonderful life together. Thank you, we will. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, this is pretty much the same. Um, hello? Hey, can you come over to the office? I need your help in something. Yeah, sure. What's wrong? Come over and I'll explain. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, something wrong. Something could have occurred with Andrew. Oh, okay, luckily I learned how to drive and got a car as a graduation gift from my mother. How she managed to get me a brand new car without Dad knowing was beyond me. <laughs> I quickly drove over and ran through the building, being led to a room with my parents, Andrew's parents, and Andrew himself. Oh, snap. Well, this is a few few years later, so this is not too fast. This is The pacing is perfectly fine. I'm totally okay with this. I think Louisa should agree with me that this is a much better ending. <laughs> huh? What's going on? I watched as my father stood up and walked over to me. I watched and waited. What was he going to do? To my surprise, my father kissed my head and smiled down at me. Oh, you're being nice? Thank you. Dad? I'm sorry. What? What do you mean? I've been hard on you practically all your life, and here you are, doing what you want to do. Are you happy? Very much so. My dad's smile was foreign, but I felt major elation just seeing it. Maybe it was sappy to say, but I never imagined I would see a smile like this on him. You see, this is so much better! Because with James, you don't see all of this. I mean, yeah, they said like, oh, her dad had to just accept that James took over. But there was no closure, no mending of broken fences. Ah, this is so great. <laughs> Aww. I love you, sweetie. You may not have followed the path I wanted you to follow. But if you're happy in the end, then there's nothing else that would make me happier. Oh. I felt my eyes water. Did did he really say the three words I never thought he would say to me? Was this really happening? You know what? I take back every bad thing I ever said about you, Diana. If you help me get this happy ending, then you're okay in my books. <laughs> oh, all right. My dad kissed my forehead before going back to stand near Andrew's father. I looked to Andrew, very confused but grateful to have heard those words. What's going on, Andrew? You know I love you, right? Yes, and I love you too. Before I knew it, Andrew walked over to me and held my hands. I stared up at him wondering what was going on. Oh my god, girl, you can't figure it out. I love you a lot. You're sweet, funny, courageous, and absolutely wonderful. I couldn't have asked for a better girlfriend. Andrew. Andrew brought my hands to his lips and kissed over my knuckles. It's been a couple of years since we've been going out, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Andrew, you're avoiding the question. I know, I know, but for good reason. And what reason is that? Andrew smiled and took a small box out from his pocket. 
I stared wide-eyed as he opened it before me and got on one knee. This is all very sudden, I know, but I want you to know that I care for you so much, and I want to continue caring for you as long as I live. I definitely don't deserve you, but will you marry me? OMG, yes! <laughs> this is much better. I felt my heart beating wildly in my chest. He was proposing! He was proposing! I couldn't stop myself from jumping up and down in happiness. Yes! Yes, I will! Aww. Andrew smiled widely up at me as tears started falling down my cheeks. He stood and wrapped his arms around me before kissing me lovingly. I felt Andrew slip the ring onto my ring finger as I kissed back, uncaring of the cheering going on in the room. I could hear what more people had entered... Oh, I could hear that more people had entered and started celebrating our engagement, but I didn't mind. Andrew gently pulled away and smiled down at me. I love you. Feeling bold, I stretched up on my tiptoes, kissing him with the same amount of love he gave me. He was shocked, but as I felt him relax in my arms, he kissed me back. I didn't want to wake up if this was indeed a dream. I felt light as a feather, not wanting to ever let go of this man in my arms. This is the same lines as what I said with Suzu. <laughs> okay. Here I was, holding the man I wanted to be with for the rest of my life, like nothing else mattered. Vowed to cherish him and love him for the remainder of my days and beyond. And that was my happily ever after. End! Andrew's proposal! Woo! That was great. I got the achievement! Alright, that was really nice. I like that ending the most so far. <laughs> um, I think Suzu's was really great too. So yeah, that will be it for this episode. I am just moving on down the road. So in the next one, hmm, I have an idea of what I'm going to do. So we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye.